We're back out on the bass buggy, and today I have five baits for you to try when you're on heavily pressured waters that are sure to get you more bites. Stay tuned, you won't want to miss it. Welcome back to Lowbrow Fishing, and today we're talking about heavily pressured waters. What can we do as anglers to improve our odds of catching fish when there's so many other anglers out on the lake with you, whether there's boats or bank anglers? What can we do to improve our odds of catching fish? Probably the biggest thing that I like to do is to slow things down. Go finesse. You'll have a lot of people out there power fishing with their crankbaits. But what you have to remember is with so many people out on the water, fish get attuned to the sound of a rattle uh, from a rattle trap or a lipless crank or a deep diving crank or chatter baits or any of those loud baits that make a bunch of noise underwater, especially if the water is clear. The fish come to recognize those sounds, they know that it's not food, and they don't go after it. Occasionally you'll be able to get one on a reaction strike, but as far as actually chasing one down and committing with a strike, that becomes a real challenge. So I like to slow things down and I like to do what I call fish stealthy. In other words, I quiet my baits. Our first bait is a square bill, a square bill style. It's transparent shad color. It works great in clear water and works pretty good in stained water too. But the thing that you notice is there's no rattle. It makes no sound. The only rattle that you get or the only thump that happens is the vibration that happens from this lure's movement under the water. That makes it harder for the fish to tune out. They can feel it thanks to their lateral lines even in cloudy and stained water, but it doesn't have the telltale rattle of a lipless crankbait or even other square bills. In pressured waters that can actually give you an edge. The way to stand out is by not standing out at all. Another bait that I like to throw is a silent swim bait. And this one's on the smaller side. As you can see, this is a sexy shad color. Uh, but again, it doesn't make really any sound other than the split ring and the hooks on it. It comes quietly through the water. And that's another thing that helps you attract fish. Uh, in a heavily pressured body of water, they're hearing all those sounds of trolling motors and boat motors and rattles from crankbaits and chatterbaits and all this underwater noise, and it can just turn the bite off. So if you can come at them with something quiet and silent, especially something that looks very much like what they're used to seeing underwater considering a meal, you may just give yourself an edge. Our next bait is the iconic Bitsy Bug Jig. I always have one of these tied on, even if it's not pressured. I have caught so many fish on these. The quarter ounce Bitsy Bug Jig by Strike King is an all around workhorse. Uh, it flips under jot docks. I use it in laydowns. I even bring it through grass and I, it helps me catch a lot of fish. The smaller jig paired with a smaller do nothing beaver style trailer, uh, something that doesn't have a lot of flap on it. When I drag it or when I stroke it, greatly increases the amount of bites that I get. A smaller presentation on pressured waters will only help you attract more fish. And of course, there's the iconic shaky head. Another silent presentation. If you're fishing deeper waters, 10, 15 feet, and you want to fish the bottom close to laydowns or whatever you see on your electronics, a shaky head can be the way to go. Cast it out, that head falls and hits, and if you're using, like I do, baits that don't have salt in them, then that tail sticks up. And you can impart just a little bit of action on that line and make that bait wiggle, and make that tail wiggle. And you can hold it in place and just make it wiggle. Hop it a little bit and make that tail wiggle. It's a very enticing meal to a bass. And last up, of course, I've got to talk about it, the Texas rigged worm. In this case, we've got a stick bait, which even in non-pressured waters is a good bet, but in heavily pressured waters, uh, in, in pitching shallow or, or fishing shallow in hydrilla or grass or lily pads or under docks or brush or whatever, 
you're not going to be able to go you're not going to go wrong with this not just a texas rigged worm but you can rig them wacky or a naco rig would also work plastic worms are silent but they're enticing they catch probably more fish than any other single type of bait so there you go five baits and ways to do better whenever the waters are heavily pressured just need to remember to slow things down and quiet your baits and fish stealthy that should give you a leg up on the competition when it comes to landing those bass. Thanks for watching Low Bra Fishing. We'll catch you in the next one.